How are you making ends meet every day? Um, yeah, so we've, um, I think the whole pandemic and also moving towards entrepreneurship because, you know, once you realize that your funds, your safety net has disappeared, you start becoming more conscious about what you spend on and you start to realize what are the things that truly matter. You know, it's, it's a question of what is nice to have and what do you need? So it's a question of need and wants, right? And um, I became more aware of what I need. So it's actually then I started to really like boil things down and realize that I actually don't need a lot of this, uh, what should I call it, um, distractions, like technology distractions. So you know, sometimes the phone, like the new iPhone came up, it's like, oh, wow, you need to buy this. It's like amazing. And these days when I, I look at ads, I'm like, no, it's not why I need. I, I don't need all of this. You know, it becomes, I become more um, aware no longer, uh, how should I put it, as materialistic as I used to be as when I was working. Because when I was working, you know, you are guaranteed you're going to get that income and yeah, I'm going to spend on whatever I want, you know, right. rather than... So um, that's one thing. Uh, the second is I think my relationships with my family has actually improved uh, a lot. Uh, I've, I've learned to also learn to take... Um, uh, to have greater appreciation for people around me, especially like, you know, who are the ones I, I really care about. I'm trying to re-establish and warm up my old uh, connections because I think these are the things that make life more colorful rather than mm. material uh, needs. So that's one thing. And also I'm, I'm planning to move, uh, to migrate back to Malacca, to the mm. and just to learn more of the culture there. And I think by moving to Malacca, it's going to help a lot in my finances as well. Just cut down mm. on I don't need. I mean, like living in KL is so expensive. So, and I'm getting rid of my car as well. So I can uh, be, how should I put it? Declutter my life in a sense. So I think that's what the pandemic has done. And I, mm. I feel lighter, so much happier. I guess a lot of people are taking one day at a time uh, nowadays with a lot of uncertainties that we have to just deal with. How do you make tomorrow better? I think it's a question of what can you do for someone today and what can you do to make, uh, yeah, if you, if you want to make tomorrow better, it's always about what are you doing today that will add more colors tomorrow. So, you know, instead of procrastinating, instead of filling your, your mind with uh, so much negativity, it's so easy to get into all that depression and all that because, you know, people are always like, oh, how am I going to bring food to the table and all that. But it's always a question I feel if you were to ask, how can I add value to someone else's life? So if I can do that and work towards it and also improve myself in the sense that what new skills that makes me happy, because I always believe that if you, you are happy doing what you do, like in my case, I love research. I love uh, writing. Um, so if I continuously just work on that, you know, eventually something is going to come up from it. So it's, it's like a garden, I know. Oh, by the way, I also started gardening uh, ever since I left uh, my job. So I love gardening because it's it's so calming, you know. You see the plants and you see the plants actually blossoming. Grow, yeah. And it's like, it's because of you, you know. You actually mm. spend time making that happen. So, um, yeah, I, I've been doing a lot of that and, and I see it, uh, you know, in a sense that it's like a kind of metaphor that, assures me that tomorrow is going to be a better day.